you I feel like breaking rules on the edge Looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge, leaning out With us it's all or nothing Hey guys, welcome back. Today's Saturday and we have some cleaning to do. So we were both really busy at work this week. We let a few things go. I'll take you around and show you what the house looks like before we'll get started on cleaning. And we also have a painting project we wanna to try to get done today. So I'll show you a little bit about that too and let's get started. Welcome to a clean with me and paint with me video. We are making our home look nice today. We have a lot to do all in one day. This room has transformed a lot over the last year. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen all the different decor that we've had in this room. And here are my favorite remotes. I'll have them linked below in the description box. I've talked about them in a few videos before and I still love them so much. I can turn on all the lights without reaching down and dealing with any plugs or going all over the room and turning things on. We need to do some cleanup here in the kitchen and here is the painting project we need to get done today. We had the wiring installed behind the TV and then had the drywall fixed. And now we need to put two coats of primer and two coats of paint on this spot to get it ready to have the TV installed again. There's quite a bit of cleaning to do here as well since the sanding of the drywall mud made a little bit of a mess. You'll see me clean that up before I put the drop cloths down to paint. film this entire video including the intro on Saturday so I was seriously multitasking between painting cleaning filming moving the camera around so much I'm working full-time now so I need to multitask more and be more efficient I get so caught up in the middle thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight because I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide
put out all of the fire if it gets too dark. I'm a very messy painter and we have new carpet so I'm being extra cautious putting layers and layers of towels and drop cloths down. We let the first coat of primer dry, then put another coat on, and then that has to dry for a few hours before we put paint on it. So that's a great time to get the kitchen clean. I made this broccoli in the oven with mozzarella cheese on top and then topped it with the everything but the bagel seasoning. It's a good side dish or snack. And I made this this time with frozen broccoli that I steamed in the microwave, but I think it's best with fresh broccoli. But I can't seem to find fresh, good fresh broccoli here lately. It's so hard to find. Let me know in the comments below if you're having a hard time finding vegetables, especially broccoli. And I was out of my nonstick foil. I love nonstick foil. I don't know if you've tried it or not, but I do have it linked below if you want to check it out. I'm out of reasons. I'm out of rhyme. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs. I'm tired of this. I'm making my favorite countertop spray with none other than dish soap and water. I like this because it's gentle on the granite and it's cheap too. And I want to tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding back, still holding back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. Here I'm putting some things away in our storage closet. I have baskets for different things like batteries or light bulbs. And I have a whole box dedicated to wax for the wax warmers, wallflower plug-ins, and Glade scented oils. I love for the house to smell good and I can have a different scent in different parts of the house and it just makes me happy. I get most of this from either Walmart or Bath & Body Works. Show me your love like it is, like it is Then open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless Y'all probably already know I like to clean something that's really dirty and crummy with a paper towel first, then go in with the microfiber cloth. Otherwise, I feel like my rag gets so dirty and I'm just spreading all that around. So you'll see me do that a lot. Just wanna dance, just wanna. You know that I'ma keep it cool 
With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us who Playing around without a clue On the edge cleaning out With us it's all or nothing I knew this part of the counter was going to be dirty, even though you can't see it because it blends into the granite. There's crumbs and salt and pepper and who knows what else hiding on this part of the counter because we use this section a lot to make our sandwiches and plates and salads and stuff. So I went ahead and cleaned it, like I said, with that paper towel first and then went in with the microfiber. Scott got me some champagne glasses for Christmas. I fell in love with mimosas when we went to, on our trip to Charleston, so we like to make those at home now. I can't have any right now because I'm on a low sugar diet, so I'll just put these glasses away for a while. Speaking of Charleston, we have a travel vlog coming soon from that trip. We went in early December, and I just need to edit that and get that posted. And I've also been working on Carly and Otway's wedding video. It's a combination of pictures and clips from the bridal shower, the rehearsal dinner, and the wedding. So it's a taking a while to edit, and I just want it to be perfect. It's such a special and exciting time for them. So be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those upcoming videos. You say all the right things when I'm hurting. You always pick me up when I am down. It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning yeah, You just have your ways to get me high You make all my dreams come true It feels right when I'm around you If you saw my last video, In the Kitchen with me, I talked about my dirty rag basket and how I keep all of my cleaning rags in one basket and I wash them by themselves in hot, bulky water to disinfect them. And the makeup, I always come back to you. You move me in a way never thought anyone could you. Get me how you're my drug when I am feeling blue. Yeah, it's all you. I actually changed clothes so I wouldn't transfer any paint from my clothes into the kitchen like leaning on a counter so you'll actually see me change clothes a lot in this video Feeling blue, yeah, it's all you. Cause you're
Now that the kitchen is nice and clean, it's time to put the first coat of paint on the wall. Scott helped a lot, but his back has really been hurting him, so he helped as much as he could. I will say that even though he's a great painter, he absolutely hates to paint. And I'm not an expert, and I wouldn't say I'm a great painter. I'm kind of new at painting, but I do love to paint. I love the transformation, and even though it's a long process, it's so amazing to me how much better and refreshed something can look after you put a coat of paint on it. The reason why I'm new to painting, kind of new anyway, I grew up in the military and we couldn't paint when, um, when we were living in the base housing. So I didn't learn how to paint until I was an adult. I was blessed to get to grow up moving around, seeing and learning about different cultures, and I had a great upbringing. I was blessed to have such good parents. Scott and I both say that often, how lucky we are to have good parents and a good foundation growing up. My parents taught me to be confident yet humble. They showed me love and taught me how important family is, and they taught me that by example. And they also taught me how to do so many things around the house that I use today in my life and in my videos but they didn't teach me how to paint just because we you know we just didn't do that when I was younger so I learned how to paint from YouTube what would we do without YouTube and one of my favorite painters on YouTube is the Idaho painter I'll leave his information in the description box if you're looking for painting tutorials it's a really good channel I'm cleaning up this room now and you probably already know that I like Christmas string lights even when it's not Christmas and I use my remote to turn them on So how do y'all like my shirt? My sister made it for me. I just love her so much. She is really talented with her Cricut machine. I put my makeup on sitting on the floor in here and I squirted foundation all over the carpet. <laughs> That's okay, dish soap to the rescue. I used my dish soap spray and it took a little bit of scrubbing to get it out, but I think it's gonna be fine. Say something meaningful, say something I don't know. I wanna know you better. The way that you talk and this is what the room looks like with all the low lighting i love low light instead of overhead light i just think it looks so cozy and much more welcoming i wanna know you better the way that you talk to me the way that you make me feel i don't know if you're
Here I've changed again and I'm putting on the final coat of paint and then we'll clean up the living room, have dinner. Scott made salmon on the grill and it was so delicious and we had Brussels sprouts and roasted cabbage and Caesar salad too. It was so good. I'm ready to get the living room cleaned up so that after dinner we can relax. The next day is Super Bowl Sunday so we put the little TV in here so we can at least have something to watch the football game on and then later on they'll come back to hang the big TV back up for us. We bought the big TV as a Christmas present to each other and let me tell you I've never thought I would love a TV so much. We didn't have a smart TV for forever, never until now, and now that we do I didn't think it was that big of a deal but it is super nice. We are really loving it. I wanna put you in that spot. And here I'm using my remotes again. Again, they'll be linked below. I love these things. I've bought several different packages for like all over the house. And I've had one package, like my very first package, I don't know, probably like seven, well, five to seven years, something like that. And I still love them, so they're good. And this is as good as it can be for us right now until we get everything finalized in here. But it's good and clean and we can relax and enjoy it for a few days until the big TV gets put up. And we can also have a place to enjoy watching the football game. Scott says dinner's ready and I wanted to show you my trick of putting out a candle so that there's no smoke. And this is how I do it and I also have a video out there on this. I hope you enjoyed this clean with me and paint with me video. Thanks for coming along with us while we're making our home look nice. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up to let us know. And I hope you'll stick around for more videos by hitting that subscribe button and also get your notifications. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here and just joining us. Either way, I am so excited to have you here for today's video where I'll be cleaning up the kitchen before we update the hardware on our cabinets. My hope that the content I post here each week on Living Gratefully is helpful and encouraging to you. And we do a variety of videos like cleaning, homemaking, shopping hauls, DIY, recipes, travel, and so much more. So I'd love to have you as a viewer. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified of all my videos. And let's get started. All right, y'all, I'm going to get this kitchen clean so I can get a good before shot of our cabinets with the old hardware on them. So let's get to speed cleaning.
I've never used Norwex cloths, but my sister had a party, so I went ahead and ordered a few. Let me know if y'all use them and if you like them and what's your favorite. I bought the Enviro cloth and the window cloth, and I haven't started using them yet, mainly because I just love my dish soap cleaner and my regular microfiber cloths, but I'm sure they're great and it's always nice to try something new, so let me know in the comments below if you guys use them. I'm cleaning my granite countertops with my DIY dish soap spray. It's just dish soap and water that I keep refilling in this old Windex bottle. I just love it so much. It's my favorite cleaner. And talk about being inexpensive. It's just, it's just amazing stuff. That video will be linked below as well if you missed that. And in a little while, you'll see me refill the bottle because we'll use that to clean behind the knobs when we take the old off before replacing with the new black knobs. Here I'm doing my little eye level test to see any crumbs or smudges on the countertops. You really, you know, with these granite countertops, you really cannot see um, all the crumbs blend in with the design. Um, we really do, we have a huge kitchen and we're very blessed to have all of this counter space and cabinet space, but it does take a while to clean it as you can see. These are the extra coffee pods that we brought home from the beach, so I'm putting them in the holder. We actually have an old Keurig machine, one that still works. We just wanted um, one with a bigger water tank for our everyday use, but we kept the old one and we keep it in our travel stuff and we take it to the beach with us. Sometimes there's like a regular coffee pot and we like our Keurig, so at least we'll have that. And also back in the days when there was always just a coffee pot and not usually a Keurig, nowadays a lot of places have a Keurig in there for you but if it is a regular coffee pot Nana likes decaf and so she'll brew a, you know her decaf coffee but then you know what do you do with a whole pot of hot coffee 
if you know you're not drinking it yet and then someone else wants to brew like regular so that's when we started bringing our own Keurig so we could be brewing regular the multiple people in the house who wanted that or if they wanted decaf or hot tea or whatever and then um, whoever wanted to use the regular coffee pot for decaf could do that okay this is all of the before shots we had purchased one knob and went ahead and switched that out so we could test it and each day as we were using the kitchen we could see if we liked it this was neat too because we when we had company over we could ask them what they thought and pretty much everyone liked it so we decided to go for it I'm pretty sure that the gold or brass knobs are original to the house, which is 20 years old. We've lived here in our home for 10 years. Ever since we moved in, Scott said it would be great to update the knobs, but I was like, let's just wait because gold is probably going to come back soon, which I was right, gold did come back. But at the time, everything was brushed nickel and I just knew that trend would change. Plus, the gold looked good and I was like, why change it? It was working and it looked good with the color of the cabinets and I don't know I just didn't want to change it at the time but with our recent update to the decor in here using mostly black and white to add a little farmhouse vibe to our mostly brown kitchen which if you didn't see that video I'll have it linked below and in the cards in the top right corner but since we changed that decor we thought the matte black would look nice in here and for just two dollars and 98 cents per knob which we picked up at Home Depot it's a relatively easy update to make so let's go ahead and get this changed I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh yeah I guess our dreams fell asleep there's no passion in the comatose yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. tried so hard to stay all right y'all we were getting ready to put the knobs on our new knobs but we needed to take a little break and have some lunch so we had black eyed peas and those chicken nuggets like from sam's that taste like chick-fil-a with chick-fil-a sauce and mashed potatoes scott's famous mashed potatoes there's a video on that you need to check that out and i got a little lunch on my shirt so i am going to use this foaming hand soap it's just dish soap and water and I will take that spot off and then we'll put our knobs on yeah they need to know how well it works oh here you are face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you think and I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying oh no. Just so y'all know, after my shirt dried a little bit, I realized it didn't get the stain out, so I went back in with just my dish soap spray, the amazing magic spray, and microfiber, and that did the trick. I'm telling you, it's amazing stuff. That old Windex bottle of mine holds some magic spray, as my friend Molly says. Anyway, I kept wearing the shirt, and you can see later, as you watch the video, that the stain disappears. Are we going to have any extra, or no? Yeah, okay. I mean, I figured I wanted to have a few extra in case, like one might not yeah, work that's right. right or something. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Things 
Okay, y'all, here we go. We're getting ready to show the after shots. We have a big kitchen, so we had 49 knobs to replace. We kept the gold knobs for now. We put them in his big Ziploc bag with their screws. And I just want to thank you guys so much for the amazing support that you guys give gratefully from the sweet comments and faithful views and likes and the way my subscriber count is growing each week. I'm amazed at how wonderful my subscribers are. I also love hearing from you guys over on Instagram. I try to reply to all my comments and direct messages, so please let me hear from you. You guys make my day when I get to hear what is going on in your lives, or if you like my videos, what is your favorite stuff, what has been helpful to you, questions you have on all of that. So that's it. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!
Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing a deck refresh. We'll put two coats of stain on the deck. It really needs it and make a few enhancements and get the area ready for hanging out this fall under our deck lights. If you're needing some deck enhancement, refresh motivation, or you just need to stain your deck, then I think you'll like this video. Let's go ahead and get started. I can't wait to share with you a few of our tips. Starting with this one, on a Friday when Scott was off and I was still working, he went ahead and stained the spindles, that's what I call them, or ba balusters. Um, comment below and tell me what you guys call these but anyway he stained these and I just grabbed a quick clip of him doing this this was his first time using the sock method and he said it worked great so what you do is you put like a rubber glove on your hand and then you put an old sock over top he found this super easy trick on YouTube and he said he's never going back it was so much easier than using a brush and y'all what would we do without YouTube I mean we're very thankful for YouTube. He was able to stain the posts and spindles without removing any of the furniture from the deck and that saved time because at least that step was done when we got to Saturday and then you'll see us removing all of the furniture from the deck. We're going to do two coats of stain over the weekend so we just put all the furniture onto the grass. Here's another tip. Scott likes to use that long handled duster to get the spider webs off of our deck lights. We love our deck lights. We put these lights up about two and a half years ago and they have held up perfectly through storms and wind. Scott did want to switch the poles around and paint them while he was at it. So you'll see the result of that in this video as well. We use regular painter's tape to keep the stain off of the vinyl siding. And last year to stain the deck, we used a paintbrush duct taped to that long handle that you saw Scott using with the duster. And that worked great, by the way, if you need a budget friendly option. But this year we did go ahead and invest in two long poles with the screw top and um, two brushes so we could both be doing it at the same time. This is the color that we've been using year after year and I love it. Scott always asks, do you want to change the color this time? And I always say no. I love that it has like a little bit of an orangey tint to it. I think it looks so good against the green grass and I just don't want to change it. It makes me happy when I look out at the deck and the grass. So we are using the same color and it is from Benjamin Moore. We try to stain our deck every year to keep it nice. I believe we have probably skipped a year or two in there, but we are in a good habit now of taking care of this every year, especially now that we know that we can do it ourselves. I myself was super intimidated before we did this on our own for the first time last year, but now I'm so glad we tackled that because I'm not intimidated at all. We did have the house and deck washed professionally. I men mentioned that in my video when we decorated the front porch. That video will be linked below if you missed it. But since we had that taken care of, which was a really nice treat by the way, um, all we had to do was wait for no rain and a weekend in order to take care of this project. We started on opposite ends of the deck and met in the middle. It also helped that he had done the spindles and the rails the day before. So the process went really smooth and the brush, just so you know, really is helpful in getting in between the boards. Mm -hmm. 
Last year, I remember I tried to do like three boards at a time and I would be working, you know, painting the three boards at a time and try to move my way to the other side of the deck because that was when we only had one brush and we were just taking turns on that duct tape to that pole. But anyway, this year I decided I wanted to focus on just one board at a time and go down and meet Scott in the middle. That way I would know that I was covering it really well and I wouldn't lose my place. <laughs> and also I figured out that it, after I put it on kind of you know you could kind of be a little sloppy about it a little bit and then do one long sweep with that wide brush and it kind of smooths everything out it made it a lot easier this time having those tools I bet you think that I should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't It's not that long Since I met you for the first time should work it out you know we should work it out before i'm too invested i should probably ask you ask you all my questions get to know you better but can you be trusted will you take me for granted and will you knock me down i know i'm feeling something for The next day after it's dry, I wanted to show you what it looks like. Here's my red cup of water over that I left over here overnight because I painted myself, stained myself away from it. I couldn't reach it. Okay, and here we go to the second coat. This is on Sunday. This is the day that I cleaned the whole house, made that crack cake. We put the stain on the deck. We also took family pictures and we celebrated Nana's birthday. That was a really busy day. That was the last video that you guys saw last week. And that'll be linked in the description box if you missed it.
If you have a deck that needs to be stained and you haven't tried it yet because you're intimidated, I hope I'm giving you some motivation. We had a few people say, oh, it's so easy, you can do it. And so that helped us get motivated. And I'm here to say, if we can do it, you can do it. So I hope that helps you out. You can see Scott around the bottom of the deck staining the edges where the boards peek out under the rails and as long as you work fast and are meeting up with the wet parts when they're still wet, you'll be good to go and you won't see an obvious line. Okay, and it's all done now. We are removing the tape. This is on Monday after work. We're getting ready to go eat Mexican food for dinner after our long, busy weekend. And I just wanted to go ahead and get the tape off and put the furniture back up on the deck before we go enjoy a nice meal. It's like a little reward knowing we got something accomplished, even though you can see it's about to get dark on us. We still have a few more things we want to share with you, so don't go anywhere. We're just putting the furniture back after staining, but we have more refreshing to do here in a little bit. Isn't this a good life? Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages. Citrus in our beverages Show only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering our faces You know it is all lies You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing out air for a minute Would you rather stay right here? Make everything disappear. You can play my favorite song. Put your rose colored glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. Lay low in the bitchy sun. Put your rose colored glasses on. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? Here's what it looks like. Now it's time to eat. And then we took about a week or so to order some things online and gather up some of our refreshing items. And here you can tell that after it rains, it puddles up on the wood just like it's supposed to. Okay, here we go. This is a week or two later. Scott took the posts down and painted them, turned them around, and moved the hooks to the other side and restrung our deck lights. So this was because they were bowing a little bit and now look how great they look. He also added these post caps that we ordered from Amazon. I think it dresses up the deck and adds to the black touches since the light strings are black and the light fixtures are black. The first time Scott painted the post, he found the exact color of spray paint as the deck stain. It was kind of an accident that it matched that perfectly. If you missed that video, I'll have it linked below. He talked about how he did everything in that video. But this time, he checked a few stores and they didn't have the exact color. But I think it looks amazing anyway. I really love how the post caps and the newly painted light posts and the fresh deck stain refreshed this deck. Now we'll add some cushions. These are from Big Lots. Our old ones had gotten really dingy and gross, so we needed an update. And we bought the ones for the front porch on clearance, but they only had two in the store, so we needed two more. Ordered these up online from Big Lots, and we did have to pay full price, but that's okay. At least they match. And when we want, if or when we want to put the set back together, they will all match. Sitting on the front. 
front porch sipping on the rocks Citrus in our beverages Citrus in our beverages Show only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering our faces You know it is all lies You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing out there for a minute Yeah Hey, would you rather stay right here? Make everything disappear You can play my favorite song Put your rose colored glasses on What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear Lay low in the beaches, sun Put your rose colored glasses on I'm just using the, all of the throw pillows that we already had. Nothing else is new on the deck as far as furniture or decor, just those Big Lots cushions. Just making what we already have look nice by cleaning it up and moving things around. And now we know our deck is protected and I'm hoping we can get several more years out of our beautiful deck. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and feel motivated to clean and refresh something. The post covers will be linked in the description box below. They're from Amazon and I mentioned quite a few videos in this video like the front porch fall decor video, the video on Scott installing the deck lights, the video where I made crack cake. So you can find those videos linked in the description box as well. Thank y'all for watching and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye! Thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars yeah. But we smashed up all the parts Oh na 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 Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard